Hello everyone. This is Wooly Sir. This is officially the end of the 2024 season for Spirit Halloween. And today I'm going to be there is, there's two new Spirit Halloween animatronics that they're making for 2025. And I'm going to be waiting them. And I knew, and I know I could have waited a little later into the 2024 season, 2025 season, when there was like a thousand animatronics that just came out. But, um, since it's ending, there's, I'm surprised there's two new animatronics already. 2024, 2025, it's like the same thing that they did with Wick Rapman. So without further ado, we're going to be waiting for the two new Spirit Halloween 2025 animatronics. So without further ado, let's get on. So the first one, I'm going to do the first one that will least for the 2025 season so um so this guy is very awesome he is 279.99 feet for frankenstein monster animatronic frankenstein from universal Zombies? Oh, oh no, it says it right here. Um, so yeah, Frankenstein and Frankenstein's monster. Now I'm going to be writing it, so let's go. on this guy that people think he's actually terrible and people say he's not even the white color and I don't believe that to me he looks like exactly the white color just for and, um, his sounds I like and he doesn't look too realistic but that's one thing I actually like about him is that he doesn't look too realistic. So that's one point for Frankenstein's monster. But one thing I do have to say is I wish he just moved again and quickly pops out. This guy is a kind of annoying. He's not annoying, but when the professor stopped, I mean the scientist stopped screams or yells or something kind of madly kill the song. And I mean I'm not too mad about that, but just um, kind of annoying. And the change kind of annoying too. The change on that annoying. But overall I like the blood stains and overall he's maybe might just might be my favorite animatronic of the year. Let's go to the next 2025 Spill Halloween animatronics. So I believed that the um Frankenstein one was out, but I did not believe that the lucky Liz was actually out. And to be honest, at the end of the video, I am going to be writing a review for both of them. And if you don't want to see that, you can skip that part. But see, overall, I like her, but she's not scary. 
I mean, like, you see the clown effect. It's kind of more like a kid showcase. It's not like a ooh, spooky still showcase of evil clowns. Like, kind of the clowns I like is a cotton candy game. And I'm not calling her a bad clown because she's a girl clown. Um, I just, um, this would be a better prop, like someone else said, this would have been a good prop if Lucky Bombs wasn't a thing, but now since it is a thing, this thing just sucks compared to Lucky Bottoms. Lucky Bottoms is so good just compared to her. <laughs> Like I said, I would like her if Lucky Bottoms is in a pot, and Lucky Bottoms is scary, because it's white, so you can paint it, but her, just like, you can't paint it, because it's already colored on it, and that's just stupid. But overall, there's nothing bad about her, except everything. So, like I said, most people don't like this one, and I don't know why. I really like this one, so I'm gonna press this review. I'm going to put that on a five stars, actually. Um, um, how I think this product is a good, just one sec. Most important thing to know is no, no, I don't want to. No, 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 that. I just walked the Yeah, I need to go. I need to go. I need to go. I would. so we just did that so thank you you can read this if you want hey, sorry guys i can't wear green i hate this i'm sorry no i'm way too hot and i mean way too hot so Bye.